Hello everyone, welcome to Steam Code. This is part 3 of our idle game tutorial. And in this tutorial, we will be adding functionality to the change market function. And we'll be adding functionality to the sell buttons. So that we'll actually be able to sell our logs for real money. And so, first thing you want to do is hop into your app.js file. Get rid of this comment that we placed in the last video. Add a call to this function within the click handler for the visit button. And then we're actually going to create the function down here. So function change market. And what this function will do is it will update the buttons within the market menu depending on what or depending on how many logs or how much money we have. And so we'll say if logs is greater than zero, then sell all dot CSS display block so if we have more than zero logs then the sell all button will be visible and then else so if we have zero logs then we'll set the display to none and then we'll do the same thing for the other two buttons so you can just copy this entire thing if logs is greater than or equal to one, then the cell one button will be set to block and then else cell one will be set to none. And then if logs is greater than or equal to 10, the cell 10 button will be set to block and then else it will be set to none. So let's see how this works. Visit the marketplace. We have nothing now because we have zero logs. If we return and then chop a few logs, then these two buttons appear. If we return again, and now we have more than 10 logs, all three buttons appear. And so now let's actually add functionality to these three buttons so that we're actually able to sell our logs for money. So up here, we'll say, cell one dot click function will decrease logs by one and then we'll increase the money by the log price And then we'll update the inventory with the change inventory function. And we'll update the market with the change market button, with the change market function. Let's see how this works. So let's chop a few logs here. And then we sell one. Money increases by one, logs decreases by one. If we reach less than one, the buttons disappear. Perfect. So now let's do the same for the other two buttons. So copy this entire thing cell 10 will decrease logs by 10 so logs minus equals 10 money plus equals log price times 10 and then we'll change the inventory and change the market like before let's save it see how this works let's chop more than 10 logs let's sell 10 now our money increases by 10 our logs decreases by 10 and the button disappears. Let's sell a few more. Now we have no buttons. Now let's do the same thing for our sell all button. So sell all dot click. For this one we'll put money will plus equal logs price times logs. Then beneath that we'll set logs to zero. 
and then we'll update the inventory in the market like before. Save this. Have a few logs here. Sell all of them. Now we have zero logs. Our net money increased by the number of logs that we had. All right, this is it for this video. In our next part, we'll continue adding more functionality to the game. I hope you enjoyed. If you liked it, please leave a like. If you enjoy my content, please subscribe. And this has been Steam Code. Goodbye.